Cancer, hi. All right, let's get into your reading. I can't stop smiling <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get into it. I'm going to start off with your person's overall energy. We have Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. <laughs> Woo, we got somebody uh, new here or a secret admirer. I feel like this is new. It's three ones here. New beginning, passion ignited, love begins, prosperity begins. So something new or renewed. Um, they also have mental conflict and shadow. So this is why I feel like maybe it could be a, a secret admirer with the shadow kind of keeping in the background a little bit and not sure how to approach you or what to say to you. So I don't know. Let's dig in and, and see what's going on. I'm going to start off with your person's current energy, current situation. Keep in mind, Cancer, this is a general collective reading. Energies can be flip-flopped and reversed. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Also, if you are feeling the vibe and want to be part of the tribe, hit subscribe. Also hit the like button too to help me get these circulated. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. Cancer, your person's current situation. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Earth sign. Um, I feel like they want to offer you a token of stability, but again, they're conflicted. Not sure what to do or how to do it. They do want victory and success. So now we have Ace of Wands, or Ace of Swords. So we have all the Aces here. <laughs> um, they want victory and success, or they're they're facing the truth here. You have the sun. You make them happy. <sighs> I'm hearing that song by Kesha, Your Love Is My Drug. I feel like this person is, like, addicted to you. Addicted to you. I don't think they're yet ready yet to take this leap of faith or maybe they feel like you are not ready yet. It is weighing heavy on them. They are, they're still holding back for some reason. Again, it's a general reading. Not everybody's on the same timeline. So this could have already happened for some of you. Some of you may not have happened yet. So they're, they're, they're trying to manifest you, but they're holding back right now. Justice, waiting for balance or something to be fair. They could be going through a legal issue. Yeah, something. What is this? I got the tower, the, the devil with justice, and then healing. They could have just gotten out of something, either dealing with a contract or a law, the law, or something toxic. I mean, I could take it one step further if they're this attached to you, like, Maybe a restraining order was involved. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. It may not even be true or apply to you. Um, I see it here. It's a possibility, but it could also mean something where they're dealing with something in their life and maybe they're just not ready to approach you or you're dealing with something in your life that they know about and they know maybe now's not the right time. They do want victory and success. Because this is their current situation. So it may be outside of love. <clears throat> All right. Strength, confidence, courage. We have Leo energy. Twice. So King of Wands and strength. Three of Cups. It could be like a friend situation. Uh, they feel strongly about you. It could be a friend situation. Or you met them out socializing, celebrating, or through a friend of a friend. I don't know. Let's keep digging. All right. What's blocking this? What are the blockages? If this is someone new, like that justice and uh, devil energy, they could be going through a divorce or separation that is really toxic. And that could be why they're not ready yet. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm like losing my voice. I apologize. So that shadow and mental conflict, like they could be dealing with something outside of this, you know? Drama, arguments, disputes, king of swords in reverse, confusion. Yeah. I'm asking blockages right now, blockages between you guys. They have some kind of drama going on in their life. They may not have told you about it. So that's why they're not fully ready yet for this 
new beginning in love or haven't come forward to you yet. Maybe they want to clear their baggage. Yeah, see, leap of faith. They're just not ready yet for some reason. Again, I feel like they're dealing with something big in their life. They want this. They want to be with you. They want to make a love offer towards you. They feel two of cups towards you. Yeah, there's passion, attraction, chemistry. Like that spark ignited. They want to come rushing towards you, but I just feel like they can't right now. Let's see, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Judgment. Maybe you've dated them before and they want to reconcile something. Permit. Again, they're either too scared or they're dealing with something big. If this is somebody that maybe you were married to and you're in separation, I could see it that way. They're devastated over the separation and they want a new beginning with you. I could see it that way too. Um, I'm hearing that song by The Cure, Pictures of You. I feel like they look at pictures of you, social media, online, or even just be nostalgic and look back on old memories. You have the emperor. So they see you as an emperor, Cancer. Male or female, doesn't matter. They see you as very boss energy. There is some kind of, either, three of cups. I don't know if it's a third party. Third party could be person, place, or thing. Or it could be friendship, socializing, celebrating, drinking through, with friends, something like that. They see you as strong. They see you like as a very strong person. You're coming across as strength, confidence, courage, and the emperor energy to this person. This person sees you as very strong, talented, go getter, um, no BS uh, type of person. Comfortable in your own power, your own skin. They want commitment with you. They want Ace of Cups with you. Empress. Empress and Emperor. They see you as a divine counterpart. You may be disconnecting from an earth sign right now. And that could be why they're confused or, or they're disconnecting from an earth sign. Capricorn. You might work together. That's how you might know this person. You might know them through work or networking or working in the same field. I feel like they either want to talk to you or they enjoy communicating with you. They're definitely, they're definitely like looking at pictures or social media or something, looking into you somehow, some way. I wanted this to be a new connection and I'm trying to go that way, but everything's starting to come back. Like, is this somebody that you were with and you're separated with and there was some kind of a painful ending and it ended bad and this person like can't live without you. And I mean, reconciliation is here. A painful ending is here. Maybe something with the court system is here. This is a past person. Oh, I wanted it to be new. It's someone from the past. Ay, ay, ay. Cancer. <laughs> oh, it was their, their overall energy with this. It was, it was so positive, minus the mental conflict and shadow. But I was hoping it was something else. <sighs> Sadness, loss, regret, remorse, something about house, home, commitment, leveling up. Maybe you have children with this person or lived with this person. <sighs> that could be why they feel like you're emperor. Maybe you have the control here and they don't. You have the strength, you have the power, and they don't. 
So they're viewing you that way. They love you. They want a new beginning with you. Maybe that's why they're not ready or they can't because you're not allowing them to come towards you. I'm hearing that song by Foreigner, Cold as Ice. I feel like you're kind of being cold as ice to them. Well, this took a turn. All right, let's see. What are their next actions? They're moving slow. They're still an unknown energy towards you. Feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, left hanging. Could be a Virgo. <laughs> I think you blocked them. Or they're in hermit mode trying to reflect and figure out what to do here to move things into calmer waters. They're still holding back. I keep hearing restraining order. Did you... Did you Put an order on them or a no trespass or something, no contact. They're trying to manifest you. Again, I have divine counterparts. This person feels like it's meant to be. You're meant to be together. You're supposed to be together. I hope the, the negative energy or the toxicity that's coming through is an outside source, not this connection. Like I'm, I'm hoping that this is just something this person is dealing with, not what you're dealing with with this person. If this is somebody trying to come back to you and they're being persistent or you're really having to go through some kind of lengths to block them out, they do give up. I do see them walking away because they realize there's no victory and success here. They cut their losses. They may move on to a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sag. Or they see you moving on to somebody new and they give up. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment again to Ten of Cups with Queen of Wands. I mean, they do see you as fiery energy. I mean, it could be you, but I do have walking away because they, they give up the victory and success here. Because they see you being just cold and cut off towards them. I wanted this to be your love of a lifetime, Cancer. I feel like it's, it may not be. So let's see, what are you going to do? What is Cancer going to do in response here? What are you going to do? Put in work and effort on yourself. Again, you may work with this person. You're focusing on your own stability. You might be moving towards an air sign. You might be moving towards an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, the lovers. You don't quite know what to do. Yet there is a little bit of confusion here and burden. I mean, the, the King of Swords, it could be consulting an attorney. Justice just flew out, but in reverse. Communication. Something's not over. Death card in reverse. Planting seeds towards the sun and ten of pentacles. What are you doing here? Healing? Oh, why am I getting this confused? Yeah, there you are making a decision to reconcile. Okay. After a painful ending. Well, maybe you are taking this person back. I feel like 
you're stuck. That's why you feel stuck on what to do. You're confused. You feel stuck. It's like you, I feel like you want to, to heal and reconcile this. You see long-term happiness with this person. I don't know. I feel like there's a couple scenarios or situations going on here. One of you could be getting out of a toxic relationship to move towards each other with this person. Or you were together and it was toxic and you're trying to separate but keep getting pulled back towards each other. Like I can see, see them both ways. But you yourself, you are definitely feeling stuck or torn on what to do here. Could be an earth sign or a Capricorn again. <laughs> Commitment. Marriage. Divine counterparts again. You know what else? I wonder. Does this person have some kind of an addiction? Drinking, drugging, work even, like workaholic, so, some kind of like an addiction, something in excess, partying, drinking, whatever. Is that why you, you're, it's like you're in, but you're out, you're in, but you're out. Maybe they got in trouble with the law and that could be what all that's about. And now you're just kind of like, I don't know what to do. I do see you trying to make this work. I do. I see you trying to make this work. For most of you. Some of you, you're done. I did see the potential of somebody new coming into your life. Potentially an air sign or earth sign. So there is the potential of a new connection here. But I also feel like this is still lingering in your energy or, or trying to be worked through some of you are going to try and heal this if this person takes the right steps or right actions i feel like you are all right if not then you're moving moving it along all right let's see messages unfinished business yeah it's not over patterns back and forth baggage that's what i was saying like i feel like you're back and forth on this but not quite sure if you're done or ready to throw in the towel Gambling, they could have a gambling addiction, <laughs> um, but roll the dice, take a chance, risk, leap of faith, strategy, something about home, comfort, safety, belonging, shelter, ex-lover, memories, the past, old flame, nostalgic, definitely felt something about that, something from the past, divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, supernatural karma, things could, this is like a tower, so the tower could have came in. And shaking things up here to put you on the right path. Legal matters, justice, divorce, balance, judgment, healing, wounds, improving, mending, progress. I also have soulmates, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives, reconciliation, reunion, second chance, back together, I miss you. Heartbreak, hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment, breakup. All right, any other messages for cancer? Express your love. It's important to let people know that you love them. You have nothing to lose. Past lives. You have known this person before. It's a soulmate from a past life. Different paths. You are not on the same page with this person you have in mind. The direction you want to move into are different. Distance. The separation you are experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow and make the effort. This love is worth taking risks. You are called to move forward. So, I mean, I'm not here to tell you what to do. It strongly looked like probably 90% of you are going to try and work this out with this person. The other 10%, probably not. So, whatever category you fit into there. I do feel like this person is trying to make changes. I do feel like they are trying to be the person that you want. So, I mean, if that gives you any hope. I mean, their energy was good. You, They are all about you. They are. But is it toxic all about you? Like, 
your love is my drug. Like they need you codependent, you know? Um, all right, letters could be first, middle, last name, initials, could spell a word, could spell a name, something of significance. We have K-N-O-T-Z-H-P-I-U-E-F-Q-Y-X. So K-N-O-T-Z-H-P-Q-Y-X-U-I-F-E. All right, zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their charts. Something could happen during that season, <coughs> like cancer season, for instance. All right, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Aries. Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries. It could be any sign, you guys. It is a general reading. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, angel numbers, or an age. By the way, obviously, 111 and another one here. So 1111. We have 11 that came out. We have 2, 4, and 8. So it could be like 24, 28. 82, 42, and 11. 11 also can be a 2, even though it's um, a master number. It's not supposed to be broken down. Anyway, February, April, August, or November. All right. Cancer, that is what I have for you. Uh, love and light. Take care.